Welcome back to Elliot's podcast. Uh, I actually took the week off for the holidays, and to and to ease myself back in, I'm doing this episode where it's video. There, there, there will be a video playing, but there won't be me in the video uh, this time. It's it's a lot extra work to set up, like get a, get everything right. And I just figured it'd be, you know, it's got to make things easy on yourself. And anyways, I'm, I'm also have a new release coming out next week. So um, I'll talk about that in, in a bit. Um, but first, let's play some music for you.
Yeah, so I mean the benefit of a of a video is that you could see me <laughs> what I'm what I'm playing, it doesn't matter. Um yeah, I'm trying to imply something about uh being I'm kind of cognizant of uh of the idea that if I if I'm playing guitar or something that someone needs to see it happening for it to be um, t for it to be real I think I think it doesn't really matter if I'm on screen or not but it's um, that is my my classical guitar called the Almansa and I don't I don't play it a lot because on on say something like the podcast because it typically sounds better uh, with with a microphone on it, and that can be kind of hectic too. And so I I actually um, I found a, a tool that helps uh, use the pickup to s make it sound better. And that's the fun thing about all this stuff is is that you can you can learn on on YouTube. Uh, granted, if you already have the tool, and I have I have a tool. I, I've spoken about it before. It's called the HX Stomp, and it lets you program, you know, any type of guitar you have. Um, it lets you program the. Uh, if if like amp amps and and pedal boards. Um, but I didn't really know much about putting acoustic guitars into it until today, really, I learned um, something. So it was nice to be able to play a bit. And yeah, I have a new, um, I have a new uh, release. It was, it was originally s supposed to be a single And it um, it was originally supposed to be a single, and it became um, a triple. So there's three there's three tracks on it. And they're um, they're all fairly different, and I think the the way it happened was that um, I I sorry I'm I'm a little distracted because I every I, I every time I do like a different type of recording I things are switched up and I and so I'm just looking at some things involving my levels uh, with with the way I'm talking it, it's kind of frustrating in that. Um, yeah, things are always changing, and you have and you you want to switch it up, but on the other hand, you you want to be you want to have a setup so that you can just hit play and and start doing things. But um, needless to say, the the f the single that I'm uh, I mean the, the release is coming out. Um, it's called "The Way It Begins Is the Way Is Never the Way It Ends," and I'll repeat that again because I fumbled it up. The way it begins is never the way it ends. And I, I guess I will probably go into it more detail next week. And next uh, next week is also going to be a live show because it's the one-year anniversary of the podcast. But the um, I think what I found, th this, this release uh, in particular, I had a lot of, um, I wouldn't call it full. Uh, yeah, I'd say there has been some difficulty because um, that's why it became three tracks. Is because I have uh, the 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 one track that I had been kind of grooming. It just it, it's a good track, but it in which it, it starts out to release, but it wasn't enough for me to say that this this is what I'm willing to promote and that's the challenge of of the way music is kind of operating at the moment and and how I was educated on um 
releasing music is is that you you should you know really if you don't have a big following you should always just release these singles so that people can hear a bit of you and you can just get the your word out a bit from these singles but for me that doesn't really work because um uh, like I in some cases the the piece of music is is i guess intended to be connected to other pieces of music which is the classic idea of an album and the album kind of re kind of simulates a performance for the the listener when you have a full album <coughs> and so it just um the so the song i had um which the, the first one that will kick off the release which is called the day the the ret the sun hit my retinas the sun um that one it was um yeah that's the one i'm talking about it was a little um it's kind of a mellow piece and um and so then i actually added um on track two uh we have a uh, which i'm looking forward to very much sharing is a track called sandwiches <laughs> which was actually done a year ago um that was a track that is like really intense it's half of it's like live funky techno uh, almost in I almost almost call it punk music because it's so raunchy and raw um, and it it actually is on SoundCloud I might remove it so that it can be packed in with this new release but it had been on it was a SoundCloud release a year ago um, before I before I did the podcast I was into doing these like weekly track releases mostly on soundcloud and that kind of morphed into the podcast and so i had stopped r releasing the music like that but sandwiches was one of the last ones from that series so it never ended up on on streaming services so that one's going to be included in the package and then the last one is the universe always expands left which is a track that was uh, originally released only for my Patreon subscribers. Um, it was built out of a track done on this podcast that I don't think it even had a name. It was one of the first episodes where I played music like live here. So it's it's quite fun that um, I mean that 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 last track is nice because it's it's a it's a good. Um, reminder that uh like you the listener y you're listening to live uh like i'm i like the ch like what i played tonight has really been prepared you know pretty much just before the show and and every week it's different every, you know varying levels of quality and and this or that um and in every episode there could be something that will make it on to streaming so for so this has been very much my kind of um, R&D research development playground type platform so yeah so that's coming out on Thursday on Thursday April 27th and then right Thursday Thursday April 28th and then my um, live show is on Saturday April 30th um, that'll be streaming uh, so it's actually probably good I didn't do video this this week give myself a, an extra warm-up um, it'll be funny with Teddy because he uh, he goes bonkers just at the wrong moment and that will probably happen when, when we're live uh, I can count on that and um, but yeah overall things have been been going pretty well and um, I'll probably talk more next week about the the process of releasing music and and I guess a bit about what what goes on for me to do it because it's not really that 
it's 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 been a real journey because it's on one hand it's not that important and then on the other like you know you put music up online it's like no big deal there's uh, everyone uh, there's you and and everyone's um, aunt and uncle does it too but then on the other hand it can it can kind of um, take over in a way that that can be quite um, I, I don't want to say toxic but you get I, I I'll admit that I had a bit of producers block leading up to this and I'm hoping that and I had a bit of producers block with the last release too called Silent Sid and the, and and it, and I'm my my methods and my process are constantly in flux and that's kind of what leads to the producer pr- producer's block is that I'm trying to hone in on some some version of perfection and and that's what I'm kind of interested in, in discussing further not di- not this week where I'm about to wrap up but that's kind of what's been going on is is that it's interesting how something can be so benign and not important yet can take up all your attention and, and your focus and I think for a lot of people that is that's more played out with the idea of social media and it's very challenging to balance that you know um, like posting online is not really that important overall but then you go out and you read other things and people tell you it is very important that you you be online and you you have a good relationship with posting and so for me it more plays out with with the releases but um yeah so that's that's coming out and yeah i think we're we're ready to wrap up and don't forget i have um uh, so this is available you could be watching this on youtube but it's also available on spotify and apple podcasts all the podcasts and my patreon is patreon.com slash feinberg so and that that starts at three dollars a month for for supporting what i'm doing and then in the future i'm going to work up some other um i've been planning other other sorts of tiers and things for for what could be on that type of network like teaching and or or mentoring type type programs for people who are doing music and in other types of projects so okay all right uh thanks for listening and we'll see you next week